Alrighty, here is a short video on, on quantifying your target market using the step-by-step -step process I have posted in Blackboard. The very first step you need to do is to perform the segmentation analysis. And I am today talking about consumer segmentation. I'm happy to work with you offline to talk about your business-to-business -business segmentation. I have provided some suggestions on how you create that profile right here. But right now let's focus on uh, consumer-oriented businesses, and you need to define the location, gender, age, income, education, lifestyle, and buying behaviors of your target consumer. So here's what that looks like for my fictitious yoga business, which is focused on Carlsbad females between the ages of 40 and 60 who earn have a household income above $60,000. For the purposes of this exercise, education is not relevant, but they do generally expect I do generally expect my consumer to be health-oriented. And they, of course, must be open to the practice of yoga. So how do I find out, starting with this group of the first four categorizations, how many people meet that profile? Because we're talking about San Diego, I can go to sandag.org and start there. When I click on demographics and other, my option here is this profile warehouse, which looks like this. When I get to the profile warehouse, I usually want to choose current estimates. There may be times when you want to look at a longer term out forecast, but for most of us, we'll look at current estimates. And then you have many options here for the kinds of data, um, the sort of data you're going to be looking at. Jurisdictions are primarily the primary cities in the region, in the county. Region is not particularly helpful, it's all of San Diego County. Zip codes, if you need to drill down below the level of a city and get to a very specific area, this is relevant for retail stores. If you want to um, go a higher level up, you may get some good information by looking at all of North County West, and you can click here to find out how they define that. Um, and then you may also be interested in looking at educational data, meaning students' uh, populations by looking at some of this high school um, unified School District, Elementary School District data. But for us, let's look at jurisdictions, specifically the city of Carlsbad, and we're going to get the profile for that. When we get that profile, this is what it looks like. We start by saying, by looking at just big picture population for the city. It tells us about housing units, it tells us about income, and then it gives us down to population by gender and age. So starting with that, I'm looking at women between the ages of 40 and 60. The numbers of women I want to add up here are these four numbers. And so I take those four numbers and I put them into my spreadsheet and I get a total population of women in Carlsbad between the ages of 40 and 60 to be 16,231. Now the other important segmentation in my particular analysis is income because my service is really only open to folks that have some extra disposable income and I've specified that they need to be making $60,000 um, a year or up as their household income. And that means I'm targeting all of the people in this range. Anyone um, that's this 10% of the Carlsbad population making that particular range all the way up to people making $200,000 or more. So what I need to do is add these six percentages together to get the total percentage of people in Carlsbad with household incomes above $60,000. So again, I put those into my spreadsheet, I add those up, and I get that at 68%. I want to apply that 68% to my number here, which is my number of women. So I get a new number of uh, people who meet my exact demographic as defined by my segmentation for the first four elements of it, and that's 11,000 women. The very last step is the most challenging step sometimes, and that's to apply some kind of behavior to your number. I went and looked at some yoga statistics, and I see that according to a major study, 6.9% um, of the U.S. population practices yoga. So I want to apply that percentage to my narrow down market segmentation, and when I do, I find that my actual target market for um, this particular study is relatively small, it's 762 women. But that's what I need, and if I only need 5% of those women to come into my studio every week to be profitable, then there you have it. This is how you quantify your target market. If you're having trouble with this, please contact me and I'll be happy to help you through it.